Hi, welcome along everyone today. So today's job, we're going to look at how to renew a sink waste. Here we have the one we're going to be renewing today. That's this one. Uh, this side is all right. So it's this one here. If you have a look underneath, I'll show you how much is leaking. Bad. As you can see this is our main sink one which is why this one's leaking so undo this nut first it may be a tad tight you should undo your hand like so if not just a pair of grips and give it a little nip and put it away and you can see how loose that all is it's all well gone can't tighten it up anymore the thread's gone so it's got to be renewed so that's that bit now we're going to try and undo the screw through the middle if I can get it out let's have a look now you're going to need something fairly wide big wide slot to get in this to see if we can undo it and it should sit in there this one does if you want to measure fit inside them two slots and give it a turn you can see that, that is really gone All right, I've got Jan to hold the waist now need someone to hold it then it, you can get it to undo. So Jan's holding the waist that means I can now turn it with a screwdriver so it's good to have someone to hold against it. I'm going to saw it through now once it's through I should be able to pull this all away now. There we have it and it's away and you can see the washer's all gone the seal's gone around there that's why we're completely going to replace this part. That's away come away I pulled that out of the socket at the top of there out of that joint it's easier to take it all away all right and you can see it's a bit, a bit gungy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now before we go fitting anything clean the entire thing up completely clean all this debris from inside and the bottom has got to be cleaned up before you think about inserting the new waste next bit to do when that's out there is a waste overflow here with a little pipe on it that goes down as you know I pulled that off but the new waste won't fit this fitting so it's got to come out so it's quite easy these use your unscrewed pliers but you do need to hold the other end so I'll just show you the other end of it and that's the part up there so what you've got to do is hold it my hand will go in front of the camera and just hold it so that you can unscrew it and get it out and there it is it's a new waste then nice and shiny clean and nice Unscrew this now and I'll show you how this goes. Once you've got that out, this will split. There's two washers. The thick one here goes down on there like so. And this one goes on here. Make sure this is all nice and dry and clean before you go pushing it in there. Once that's done though, we're nice and dry and clean. We're ready to insert this one. Literally it in over there like so. Now with this bit we're going to offer it up underneath and then we're going to put this screw through. Here we are then, so we're going to just offer it up in place. Once you've got it roughly about right, what you've got to do now is go above with the screw and line the holes up and put the screw in. And there we are, I'm lining it up now. About right, you can see the bit underneath, the threaded part that I've just offered up. Put the bolt in and get it screwed in. Get it started. Once it's started, it, screw it right down with your fingers into place. Make sure the washer doesn't slip out. Okay, when you're about ready there, make sure you get it all nicely level and that the washer isn't sticking out any directions more than another. And then we're ready to hold it on the bottom and we're going to screw it up tight. Once we're ready now, I'm happy with the position, we're ready to do it up. Okay, and then give it a little nip so it holds it where you want it. Make sure the weight is pointing the right direction down below, which it is, as you can see it's pointing up in the right direction for the waist to fit, for the overflow I should say, and we just tighten it up. With most of these type of new fittings, I have to buy this little adapter also. Okay, this goes on the bottom of our waist fitting so that our trap will fit on the bottom of that, okay? Otherwise you've got nowhere for the trap to screw onto. Get that fit in there and screw it up onto there. Okay, you don't need to do it up by hand, okay? So don't go too mad. That should be it. That's clever, isn't it? And turn the that adapter. up there. And yeah. then you can see that fits nicely in there. Tiggy boo, all we've got now is the waste, the overflow, sorry, to do. <laughs> do you know, that it's, looks so easy. I think I could have done it. Yeah, you could have done it. You just leave it, don't I'll undo leave it. it. You sure you wouldn't like to have yeah, a go? No, now, inside here, there'll be a 
this nut and a little washer, cone shaped. The cone shape goes that way round and I'll show you it on the pipe. Here then is our little piece, okay, over it goes. A bit of metal goes up into that, I'll show you that part in a second. And this is that olive as I say, a bit like using them on copper fittings really. You just kind of flip it on, make sure it's up round the right way. Get it over, it's a bit, or where it's been packaged it's a bit odd. So we'll get that pulled on nice and tightly ready to go in our fitting. Okay, and that should be that end ready to go. And this thing's flexy, so you can put it up to the amount you need. So you can use your old one as a bit of a rough guide if you like. So I know that that one is, is that much. I can kind of get it roughly about right. So actually it's around that way, so you can kind of see how much or little you want of that to go a little bit smaller actually. Not far, that's about it. Okay, ready to go. Four fit in the overflow fitting. This has two washers. One that fits up in there like so. Okay, it fits right inside. Nice snug fit. You can see that it fits in there lovely. And then you've got this other piece and the metal plate. So here I'm offering my little piece in. Just getting that bit about right. Do it up with your fingers, that's all. Okay, don't need grips on that. That's it. So we don't need this extra bit, it's for different types of sinks that you might come across, all right, the metal spacer and another thicker rubber washer. Depends what your sink waste is. We need a tight fit, there's not much gap up there to get that overflow fitting in, so that one's quite wide enough for us there. So all we've got to do now is line it up, put this screw in and do it up. Yeah. Hold it in the right position with your right hand so it doesn't flip around as you tighten it up finely with the screwdriver on top so as you can see if I've tightened this up it's holding it underneath with your right hand or well, the other hand if you the other way around just give it a tight up it pushes the washer in nicely there we have it that's the job then all we have to do is give it a test give it a, a bit of run you can put a sink of water if you want to or you let it run and just check it's on dry underneath which it certainly is okay now I know there are some different sizes, it's a lot smaller than this particular one, but basically it's still the same job. So whatever you find you've got, you might have the small one, or this is the larger waist, it's still the same thing with a screw through and doing it up. They're just different size, one smaller, bigger. This is one of the bigger ones. Anyway, hope that's helped some of you out there. All my videos you know you're gonna go usual place, they're at 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.